right, guys, here we are for the mat. I'm, I'm grabbing uh, some final information, but we're, it looks like we're set to all go. Got the timer running, we got everything going. And uh, let's, let's get this conclusion to the two day tournament to uh, begins here. We're gonna win some money here. P players are playing for some money. Uh, Karim, is there no sound for you? Is there no sound? Let me know if, you, uh, if, you're, not, if you're not getting any sound. Jarrett plays Rhoda, gonna grab Ray here. Head judge had one request, and that you uh -huh. that you add a banner at the top that says Ken Bogley, Simmer the Zimmer. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not. I'm not doing that. Which one is it? Ken Bogley. Uh, Can he, uh, can he avenge fallen Aaron Furman? Can, uh, avenge fallen Aaron Furman? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Can he do it? Can he simmer the zimmer? So he, he plays the Ray. Now Ray's going to go into uh, Kagari probably here to bring back the engage. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I, yeah, I caught that. I didn't change it. So thank you so much for letting me know. I went ahead and updated it for you guys. I guess I could have done it, but... I don't want to really screw with your, your scenes here. It's all good. You have the setup pretty nice. Not going to lie. Toast Jelly. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. I for my stream on my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. What not to do. Nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so he, it's interesting that he's, he's grabbing he here uh, Shark Cannon. So you got 10 minutes in overtime. So 10 minutes to finish. Turn 0, 1, 2, 3. And that is per player. So every player that is currently still in time, you have two Looks like he's, he's linking out of Kagari. Going to go into uh, Shizuku here. To resolve yep, there the goes terms. Shizuku. If you have any questions about the end of match procedure, please I almost bought raise a Suzuki, your hand and call but I went with Subaru instead. Um, I, just, I just find it interesting that uh, if our most played deck today did not make it to the finals. I'm, I'm, I'm a little sad. No Thunder, no thunder Dragon. That power ceiling, though. Yep. So Jerry here, uh, after playing uh, Shizuku, sets three and passes. He activates uh, Shizuku's effect, and he's resolving right now. Shark Cannon was my nickname in college. It's best of three. Grabbing the multi-roll. Multi-roll is ex extremely, extremely powerful uh, card. We've seen it uh, win some games, essentially, uh, from uh, players who essentially didn't remove it off the board, you know, allowing it to stay there over and over again. If you said three anchor, I am dead, yeah. Many of our players, <laughs> we have a deck that was turned in. If you have misplaced your Vanguard deck, we'd probably be having that lost and found. Because no one would have stolen it, because why would you? Don't say that. Don't say that. Come on. Anyways, uh, Joe Bogley uh, playing his own rota here. Yeah, one of these back row cards should be Shark Cannon um, that he picked up. There's our, our buddy. That's, that's Junk Forward, correct? Is it? I believe that's Junk Vanguard Forward. I can't see Bogley's hand. He's hiding it. Vanguard head judge Mike to the front, please. Jarrett patiently waiting here for, you know, for Joe to continue with his play. There's Junk Forward. Yep, there right. he is. Mr. Junk himself. Oh, Neo Spatial Connector. Ooh, that's a card. We, well, we all know what's happening next, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're if uh, Jared doesn't ha stop any of this stuff, we're gonna see Rongo. Jared reading Connector. I know what it does. Like he doesn't know what it does. Impermanence? No. Widow Anchor, the Neo Spatial. That's not dumb. That card's really good.
By the way, thank you everyone for being here for the Pro Play Tour Finals of Atlantic City, New Jersey. There's 270 of you guys out there. Thank you so much for joining us. Please share the channel. Let us know, let everyone know that we're in the finals. So come watch. So Joe going into Isol now. He's got another Widow Anchor. <laughs> <laughs> All the negates. This man just took the Isol. This is not looking good for Joe. So like st stopping Isol is really important in this combo. Yeah. Um, so he, he might have just killed Joe's turn here. Yeah, I don't think you want to bait. A, I don't think making Isol was bait. So that was definitely he didn't expect the two. Yes, he does have three spells in gates because of the, the first uh, Widow Anchor he activated. Yep, see? That essentially killed Joe's turn. He just sets to and passes. Showing you how powerful it is to stop Isold and why Isold is so important to this deck. Yeah. I mean, at one point, Isold was well over 20 bucks. Remember that as an, as an ultra rare? Yeah, she got that good reprint, though. Yeah. It's for all those Noble Knight players. Sorry about making your Ace Monster so expensive. Yep. <laughs> so, he, so he goes ahead and play, uh, plays multi-roll. This is really important. So, you know, if he, if he goes ahead and... Uh, targets another card, he'll uh, protect uh, all his uh, Sky Striker spells and he'll continue to keep uh, stacking uh... Oh! Called by the Grave on on the Kagari that's in Grave. Neo! That was, that was actually a really good play, actually. See, I actually, this is why I like Called by the Grave. It's one of my favorite this is cards. Why people, yeah, this, is people, this is why these people are, are, are in the finals. Called by the Grave is a Kagari, not allowing the new one to activate its effect. Wow. This well this puts Jared in a weird position because he wanted to bring back his engage that he used earlier. I love me some call by the grave. That's a good fucking card. Yeah, at this point, yeah, going to Shizuku at this point. You don't want to use Hayate for anything here. It's, it's pointless. Going to Shizuku, um, I don't know if he's got something else to play to maybe like um increase the the mark on the multi roll so you can put some cards back. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. That is what, four spells and graves? Yeet. Yeah. This holds 1900. Yes? Pull it up for me. Please. Oh, you're right. You're right. A second multi roll. Interesting. He has multi. Multiple multi rolls, yeah. Jarrett here just kind of adding more uh, more to, uh, tokens to his multi roll. This, this is not looking good for Joe. Yeah, I, I, I agree, uh, Kieran. Now that uh, Jarrett has essentially shut down Joe pretty hard, um, lost a couple resources there that really make his opening play extremely good. And uh, Jarrett has two of the set back row, has a multi roll, has Shizuku on board. He, he's in a really, really good position right now. If I, if I was Joe, I was good. Another jump forward. That's probably why he did. Whose man is it? He that got jump forward. <laughs> Neo Spatian, dog. <laughs> what? He was holding back some resources. Wow, I can't believe he had another Junk Ford and, and Aqua Dolphin in his hand. Never count out Joe. Never count it out. He ashes. Yeah, the cloak is nice. Seeing cloak and grave. Oh. He chains and also shark cannons the cloak. He's done two ashes. The shark cannon coming in clutch on that cloak. Wow, man, this is he is really playing uh some some. Good. Oh, he's going in, man. He's not he's not gonna just give it to him. Yeah, Joe is not quitting though. I, I got you gotta give Joe credit. You know he he's pretty much been hit with everything, and he's like, yep, still going, still going. I don't care. The shark cannon was so good. Uh, he took five. Oh, because of the uh, dolphin, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, dolphin did damage. 
Yeah, he hit the ash with the dolphin. And he forgot about dolphin's burn damage. Yep. That's why it's good. The cheesy way to win <laughs> in Swiss. This is getting interesting, man. Overlay. They're going back and forth. Ooh, spicy. I like it. Levier, really? The sea dragon. What is he going to get? The cloak. He grabs cloak. Jerry got to play. Widow anchor. Oof. Yuck. Widow anchors it. Oh, my goodness. Ends his turn. And he does have to banish that Widow Anchor because that was brought back with multi-roll. I expected Breaksword, but no, that was Levier. Well, no, he, he stopped it. Yeah, Levier is pretty sick here, yep. Please let Set be the fossil. Can I get Gage, full drag from the front seat? So he area zeros. Sure, why not? Yep, yeah, gets jamming waves. Uh, you know, not the most optimal target, but jamming waves will allow him to hit this back row. And because he has three spells in grade, he also popped the Levier. Yeah. That's insane. Jamming waves is actually pretty clutch. I give Joe credit, though. He's made a lot of flashy plays this duel. Despite, yeah. Uh, despite, Jammy, despite, hold on. Despite, jamming waves actually is really good here. Yeah, jamming yeah. waves is really good. He's going to pop that card. Now he's going to also pop Levier. Man, Jared just... Getting all the draws he needs, man. There's the engage. Ew. All right. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't play jamming waves. Um, some people side it. You know, he's mainboarding it, and it came through really, really good right now. Yeah, you know, most people that that do play it or even side it only have it at one, just one. But coming into this, now he's got a multi roll set to two. You think JoJo can do it? I mean, Joe's hanging in there. He's doing his best. He's hanging in there. He's making uh, some flashy plays. You know, he, he's been hit with just about almost everything possible to stop him, and he is not giving up. He's doing an amazing job. There's the Hayate. Top deck soul charge. Oh, that, that'd be insane. Someone top deck soul charge. Send him your energy. <laughs> I have that same camera, believe it or not. There goes the ray on board. Yeah, Jamie Way's, uh, you know, it's it's definitely considered to be subpar, but it has its moments, and that that was a, a really good moment for Jamie Waves right there. Play, yeah, yeah, I think it got away from him. Yeah, Kagari just got the engage, replays the engage, grabs Eagle Booster. Eagle Booster is really good right now. Uh, for him. that's a really good grab. Is there any is there any strategic value for Volgi playing it, and not just scoop? I mean, it, without knowing exactly what's in his hand, he's already used two junk forwards. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, like why would he why would he want to chew up clock? In other words, I mean, uh, Joe Volgi has made it to the finals, right? So he he must know that he can still make it. Like he, he I can guess, make a play. I guess if I was Joe, I would chew up as much clock with this game as possible. Go first game two, make a big dumb board, punch and get a get a one one, and then let around. it go into turns for, for, for game three. Just yeah, to make sure I get a match. Absolutely, absolutely. There he goes. Now, now he scoops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, now he scoops. Let's go ahead and reset real quick. Yeah, it was it was starting to get get away from him. Jared just kept building advantage there, kept stopping all of Joe's plays. Um, so he did, definitely scoop, scooping there was the right call. Hey, I just wanted to provide yes. a little bit of context for yes. what you just saw. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. I almost made you fall. Yeah. Um, when Jared was uh, pile shuffling, he yes. thought that he miscounted Joe's deck, so he's like, uh, "Can I count your side deck?" So I was like, "Hey, let me pause time." So we just went ahead and just verified it. Instead of like him recounting his deck and wasting more time, you know? Okay. So um, I went ahead and restored 30 seconds to the clock and everything's good. And okay. Our, our, it looks like we had a pause in time, guys. I don't know if you heard that a little bit. For an extra 30 I seconds think, on the I clock. Think the was okay. So it looks like Joe's going to be able to go off this turn. He went ahead and play, uh, paid Insta Fusion. So let me go ahead and add that on there real quick. Summoning the Rai Jin. He's got Aqua Dolphin off, on board along with Junk Forward. And it looks like Rongo is going to be coming out. Oh, 
Jared's opening hand is not that great from a going second perspective um, for what Joe is about to do. Um, he did have engage in his hand and widow anchor, but yeah, if if he makes Rongo here, uh, I think all that really means nothing. He's got the sword engraved. Everything's looking everything's looking good for. Uh... Thank God, players, round two, you may begin. Oh, see, look, Bogey knows like it's like he knows how to play his deck. Oh yeah, you know, Joe definitely knows what he's doing. He's going really quickly, makes summon sorceress. Hey guys, if possible, please, please, uh, no links in the chat, please. Except my let's, let's let's keep uh, let's keep the chat nice and friendly. Dolphin missed, so that means uh, Joe took five hundred. All right, he is just going in here, just going off with his full combo. Joe, Joe does not take 500? Okay. Part 5 Vanguard head judge, please up to the front, please. Part 5 Vanguard head judge, up to the front, please. Oh, wow. Look, look at his board now. So this man now has Cloak, Twist Cobra, Junk Forward. And there goes the bamboozling shadow. Goes into Rongo. Rongo for six. Yep. He just made Rongo for six there, and he passes turn to Jared. That happens in the next end phase, not this one. And he went pretty quick. That was really fast from him. Activating Area Zero shows off Area Zero Shark Cannon and Solemn Strike. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably the fastest Rango combo I've ever seen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was extremely fast. Absolutely, man. The chat is alive. NA deserves a chat, and I want to interact with the chat. Absolutely. That's what I'm all about. You want to have some chit with that chat? You want to... Jerry Zimmerman looking at Rongo. My friend, the best way I can tell you is that this Rongo is letting you know that you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh this turn. Better read Rongo. Yeah, Rongo's sitting here with six materials, so for the next two turns, Jared's not going to be able to do how much if he can't out this Rongo. Yo, good, uh, good job, Joe Bogley, making this long combo go super fast. Dragon Ball Super Players, round two pairings have been posted. Dragon Ball Super Players, round two pairings have been posted. <laughs> Please find your name and find your seat so we can begin the round. So he sets, sets three, a sets a monster, passes. To the table number All right. are actually the exit doors. So if you sit closest to the exit door, that will be table number one. So at table one, you should be having at the first seat there. He's re reading how many materials of Rongo has. And he, he just goes ahead and scoops. <laughs> he yeah, said, forget it. Let's go to fair. the next game. All so right. Jarrett scooping there, knowing that he can't out this Rongo. Um, and it's now. Three with 17 minutes left. Yep. Now Ooh. it's time going to game three. We got plenty of time to here. Yeah, that's plenty of time. My jokes. No, I, I am choosing to ignore your joke. <laughs> the chat had a better joke. <laughs> with with, with uh, If they get to play leagues, why can't we? That's <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put you towards the towards the bottom of the of the joke list because uh, the chat beat you there. All right, guys, here we go. Looks like game three is about to begin. Will it be Joe Bogley with Goki Rongo? Will it be Jarrett Zimmerman with Sky Striker? Joe Goki Bogley Rongo. And it looks like Jarrett goes first, setting one card. And he's probably passing? gonna play. No, he's got multi roll. <laughs> now he's gonna play Area Zero. <clears throat> Dragon Ball Super Players, welcome to round two. You have well, that's a little unfortunate, game only game getting game. Area Zero out of that. I'm, I'm hoping that Jarrett has a way to Ray or has Hornet Joan to get to his extra deck. If not, this will be a pretty quiet turn for him. Oh, the life, I'm so sorry. I'm glad someone said it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. King of the Zeds, thank you so much. Would it be cool if it wasn't manual? 
I don't know how the hell you'd ever make it automatic. Uh, as time goes on, I'll come up with a better system to make it easier and, and be more more accurate on it. Okay, so he, he does have Ray because he uh, goes multi roll into uh, Area Zero and Area Zero gets him Ray. Bo Jogli. Bo Jogli. <laughs> oh man, he has like 333 viewers that are just like you know with their arms in the air, making that spirit bomb. Jangles. Thank you, everyone out there watching. There is now 333 of you guys watching this finals match. Really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to come watch this here with us and enjoy this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So he summons Shizuku and straight passes. It doesn't have much much of a play here. Is that a um, JoJo reference? I'm sorry, he hasn't passed yet, so he sets two, and now he's about to pass, and he's going to attempt to activate Shizuku. Joe says it's okay. Grabs engaged. Is Joe Stan Rongo? Joe to the electric bo boogaloo. Bo boogaloo? <laughs> electric boogaloo. Boogaloo? Yeah. Pizza time. Hey, I'm down with pizza. Pizza <laughs> sounds amazing right now. I'm starving. Oh my god. I can't even. I don't know what's going on. This chat's insane. This chat's insane. Yeah. All right, so Jared Isn't passes. Isn't like that thing they do at Payless? I'm not sure. <laughs> so Jarrett passes with two back rows, has multi roll, and Shizuka on board. Let's see what Joe does at this point. Insta fusion for coming out of uh, Joe. Insta fusion going into Raijin. Raijin. Nothing to book. Sad okay. times. S summons Goki Suprex. Joe thinking about his next place. <laughs> Bo Jogli Eater of Spells. Number 1738, Bo Jogli Eater of Spells. That's pretty good. Goes into Isold. Link, linking off Sup Suprex and Raijin. This chat's freaking lit right now. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. I'm trying to focus and it's just making me laugh. <laughs> So activating its soul effect to search gets uh, Goki Twist Cobra. Yeah, haven't seen any. Uh, someone said I want to see a kaiju. I haven't seen anyone play a kaiju against uh, Sky Strikers uh, this weekend. I'm not saying it hasn't happened, but us here on stream and the little bit of Sky Strikers we've seen, no one, no one's really done it. I mean, it's not a bad thing to use against them because it puts a main monster on board and then it turns all the crap off, right? Yeah, because the kaiju goes into the main monster zone, so a lot of their you can't activate their spells. Yeah. It's kind of like the same reason why uh, you can use kaijus against that. Uh, now, I, granted, I, I'd rather just flip Imperial Order or something like that yeah, like, against this. Yeah. But um, it's still it's still a way of messing up Sky Striker. Was it uh, that Hidden City thing? No, not Hidden City. Uh, the one that makes the, the, the token, the Umi deck, yeah. with all the traps. So he he has a uh, Goki Cob the Cobra, and then he's got Headbat on board. <laughs> he's <Goki> linking. <laughs> Jokey rematch in the finals. <laughs> so now he makes summon sorceress. One of them is pointing at Headbat. Round three pairings have been posted. <laughs> you players, round three pairings have now been posted. I'm Joe Bogley and I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he. I don't believe he searched an anchor. He, uh, he searched uh, and engaged earlier off of uh, Shizuku. Now, I don't, I don't know if he opened up Anchor. <laughs> that I don't know. Who are these commentators, Richie? My name is Richie Harris. I am commentating here with For the Poor Play Tour, and then I am joined by Mr. Dave, Davinator1212 himself. And I'm, my job is pretty much to sit here and laugh at all your ridiculous comments in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing constructive to add to this game. So we now have uh, Goki Octa Stretch on board, along with Headbat and Summon Sorceress. So do you just make Rongo and just punch into the back row, no fear? Is that what 
is that my is that my plan right now? Is Joe Bogley? Um, not sure to be honest with you. I mean, uh, he definitely he definitely wants to make Rongo and, and kind of you know proceed from here because Rongo's going to help him close close the game out make on Phoenix Jarrett. Along the way at some point Especially here. knowing that you know the, knowing that Jarrett had that turn where he, he he didn't really do a whole lot honestly he he didn't open up very well and in the air, uh, area zero didn't really give him an optimal card they gave him another area zero. Can you do not man? yet someone pointed out if he's got anchor set and he anchors the gossip shadow that that, that that's pretty good yeah but he needs to have a follow-up play to remove it from the board or remove the the rongo like he needs to get rid of one of them he already added yeah he already added the blade to hand yep link karibo now on board Oh, is he keeping track of his uh, multi roll? No, if he was if he was adding anything to multi roll, it would be on top of the card, oh, um, and that's only when he activates a spell. He hasn't activated anything. He was filling with his dice. That's why. I'm, yeah. yeah. So it goes into Phoenix. Yeah, he's gonna use Phoenix here to try to pop one of these back rows. Yep, discards blade. Gets rid of multi roll. Doesn't fear the face downs. I think he's just filling with the bells. No, he's keeping track of something because he just changed it to four. And he's counting again, so he's keeping track of something. He's counting cards. <laughs> Is that note taking? Chat, do you, do you have an idea? Technically note taking. Chat, do you have an idea of what what the, he's keeping track of? The judge. Oh, how many gokies he's used? Yeah, that's what he's keeping track. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's how many gokies. Are you actually allowed to do that? Is that considered no taking? No, not necessarily. It's, he can just look at the graveyard and. I guess. There's the rematch. So we're gonna watch Joe now. Uh, Summon two Goki's back off of rematch. All right. And he flips up Shark Cannon, probably targeting one of the Goki's that uh, he's using for rematch. Checking that he's only got two spells, so he does not get it. He just banishes it. Yes. So that, that does hurt Joe a little bit here because he shark cannons one of the Gokis that he was trying to bring back off rematch. Joe thinking of his next play here. Um, I wonder if does, does that stop Joe? I mean, he can he can make a link play obviously. He's what he's doing right now. But does that stop him from getting of his end goal of getting to Rongo? If that's even his end goal, he's getting low on time. He might just want to make damage. Well, he, he makes unicorn here. He's probably going to lift his second back row with unicorn. Probably. Yep. He discards Phoenix play again. Oof. So now he's left uh, Jarrett with no no cards on board besides uh, Shizuku. Joe now has summon source and unicorn with Shizuku on board. Linking them both off to make. Really? What is he gonna make? I have no idea. Server. Two link three. Oh, makes right. Gumbar. Makes Gumbar. Makes Gumbar. Okay. He has now made Gumbar.
Yeah, I don't think Zimmerman can do anything crazy. He just makes Gumblar here, and he might just pass. Well, he got a punch. No, if he if he has Soul Charge, this t this turn would be ridiculous. So, he didn't use. His, did he already go into his battle phase? So, did we miss a battle phase? No, he hasn't gotten a battle phase. He just made Gumblar. Ooh. Summons Octo Stretch to Scars, hitting, hitting cards off Jared's hand. <laughs> Joe's going through all his plays, checking his back row, checking Jared's graveyard here. How far more can he extend? You know, I was surprised to see what he just did, summoning Octo Stress. Oh my god, he's got Soul Charge. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's got soul Dude. charge. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, this might this might be GG. I think Joe flipping the soul charge. Three. He's stopping at three. I don't want to take it off until he stops. Yeah, he's looking like he stopped at three. I saw him adjust his life. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what's? Because there's what? Probably like, there's probably about four minutes left on the clock. Because our clock's three minutes behind right now. Because they're a time extension. No, no, no. no. Uh, they had they didn't. Yeah, but they didn't get that much. They got. I think they only, all they got was like thirty seconds. Oh, gotcha. Got. Yeah, I don't know. So the so it's actually like two minutes left on the clock right now. They got a thirty minute extension earlier. Oh. There's Link Karibo. Did he just pass? Oh my God. Okay. So we're probably gonna get another time in section here because he's already he's talking to the judge, looking at the card, reading it. I give him a second, folks. Looks like the judge is getting involved here, so we're probably gonna have a time extension. I hope. I wish I could hear exactly what he's questioning uh, on the card. Actually, while we wait, uh, let me see if I can go find out what's going on. Yeah. I'll be right back. And I'll stay here. Now I need to read cards. <laughs> Jojo was a man who really wanted to win, but then his opponent just read Gumblar. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It was a, a question. You want to explain? You want to explain what just happened real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. So, Here's um, our head judge, by the way. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Uh, so there was a question regarding uh, building the chain with uh, mandatory effects, so I went ahead and paused the time you know, to keep everybody uh, good. Question was answered, and we're gonna resume. So I know uh, uh, you told me we have a time extension. Well, how much time we actually have right so now? So the current time is ticking down. It is three minutes, forty seconds, thirty-nine, thirty-eight, and so forth. All right. Awesome. So we have a, l a little over three minutes, guys. So there, that was the question that was being asked about Top Logic Gumblar Dragon. Thank you again, Head Judge. And uh, we got this. A uh, game still is going. We got about three minutes left for Joe Bogey to pull this out and maybe get this win, or will Jared Zimmerman somehow make a comeback out of this? <laughs> I don't know what, what is he gonna what what can he Jared do? Jared only has two cards in hand so I, I'm not sure what he can do, but he does have Shizuku on board, which you know he, because he's soul charged he couldn't swing at it. Okay. Yeah, he's not blatantly slow, slow playing. The judge is literally sitting right next to him watching everything, so uh, he would have definitely stopped there at that point. Called. He was Ooh. called by the grave. <laughs> That's gotta be. Did, good. He, did he just call by the grave the yeah. the Kagari? The oh who, my! Uh, go, yo, Bogley wins at this point. Bogey got it. What are you gonna do? You only got one card in hand, or is it no two, two cards? He still got the two cards. Oh my god! 
I'm not sure what Derek can do in this position. This is pretty uh, pretty tight spot for him. Yeah, this is getting a little stally. All right, so he's going from Kagargi to Suzuku again. Okay. Well, what do you make? What do you do after this? I, I don't. I don't know what's in his hands. Like I couldn't tell me. He's gonna get a draw from a Suzuku. At, I mean, not a draw, a search. I mean, I would make Hayate like right and swing directly. Why would you not make Hayate? Okay, he's got Widow Anchor. All right. I mean, he knows he has three spells. I mean, he can't attack with anything. He's got a link. He takes Phoenix. The judge is right there watching what's happening. What's how many spells are in grave? I can't. I, I don't know how many spells are, are are in his grave. It's like five or six. What's wait? What's what's? Let me find out what's what's going on here. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like we're having a. Right, it's Joe's turn again. You got. Come on, Joe. How fast can you link? Hunter clock taker. Reduce. Oh my god, you know what? <clears throat> Unfortunately, that soul charge is probably what got uh, Jared the win there because um, or so earlier we went into turns because we were tied. We had 8,000 life points, 8,000 life points, and no one was hitting anyone. In this situation, uh, because you know, due to time rulings, because Joe Bogley's life points was less than Jared's, he loses on time uh, in that situation. Um, Jared's next draw was a uh, was a uh, Rhoda. Okay. So he would have got into Ray uh, and got into everything. Um, Joe did mention that he made a mistake at the very end of trying to rush. So he was gonna. He was. He felt that he, he, he made a mistake. He was trying to rush, trying to get as fast as he can. So guys, unfortunately, Joe Bogley loses in the finals to Jared Sermon to his own soul charge. To his own soul charge uh, because he had. A, but that was his, that was his best play. That, that, that was the most it optimal was, play. Was. He was trying to get there. Um, and uh, Jared Zimmerman wins uh, the, the event with Sky Striker. So Sky Striker coming in and winning the event here at Pro Play Tour in Atlantic City. I'm so happy to have everyone here. And thank you guys all for coming today. We really, really do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to remind you guys that the next event will be in Atlanta, Georgia. It'll be February 16th and 17th. Please make sure you go ahead and pre-register for that event. If you haven't so already, you get your free swag when you guarantee your pre-registration. Here is the link for that right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a link. Also, for the survey, I see some people asking for it. Please fill it, fill it out. Let us know what we, we can do better for you guys, improve the stream, improve the quality. Um, whatever you like on there, we will be choosing a winner on there to, for, uh, for whoever does the survey to get some free swag. So please make sure you use the right email. It looks like it is going to go through your email. You'll be notified of your, uh, your free uh, item that you've gotten. So make sure you put, good, uh, put a good email there.